With waters getting increasingly warmer, schools of bait fish come closer to Long Island shores over the summer. As CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports, Stony Brook scientists are now investigating which sharks are following the food. <laughs> Take that, Mr. Shark. Nice to look at, but I don't want to be near it. I am afraid of sharks. You see jaws, do they really attack you like that? Sharks come in all sizes and varieties. Each seems to get a bad rap, but all are vital to our ocean's ecosystem. So we're dealing with a pretty controversial area. Stony Brook scientist Oliver Shipley. And one of the things that we really lack in New York is, is robust historical information on shark abundance, shark diversity, and where these animals typically frequent the coastline. Shipley and a team of colleagues at the School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences want to get rid of fear and find the truth as they embark on a first-of-its-kind study of shark biology and movement off Long Island. Why in the past year alone are we seeing dozens of sightings and shark attacks? Social media plays a big part of it. There's more drones and people with cameras at the beach seeing the sharks. Our waters are cleaner. Bait fish coming closer to shore, but why the increase in bites? We've had encounters with sharks and people, and 99% of the time, it's mistaken identity. Which sharks are nosing in with a munch? Are certain species becoming more prevalent, more comfortable in shallow water? The data will be collected from drones above and cameras below. Stony Brook researchers are now examining so called hot spots of shark prey interactions along southern Long Island that may be impacted by warming ocean conditions. We need to understand the shark's movement in a, in a changing environment. And that's an exciting thing for us because it allows allows us to kind of, you know, conduct some of the first, you know, biological assessments of these animals. Shark admirers at the Long Island Aquarium are eager for the results. I think they're fantastic animals. I really do. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Yeah, when they're behind a glass. Exactly. And a little too comfortable around yes, here. Yes, yes, yes.